Pat Love back from Love Healing Hearts. This is something that I've always had a little issue with. Um, and it, it came to mind a few minutes ago, and I think I'm going to share it with you. This is Isaiah chapter... I forgot what chapter. Chapter 8. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm sorry. I feel a little silly sometimes. Okay, chapter 8, verses nine, uh, verse 19. That's just one verse. And this is an issue I have where people consult with things they ought not. Okay, listen to this. And when they shall say unto you, Seek unto them that have familiar spirits, and unto wizards that peep and that mutter. Should not a people seek unto their God for the living to the dead? Well, anyway, I just want to share that with you. We oftentimes are seeking the things that give life. And the things that give life only come from the things of God. Not psychic hotlines. Not uh, uh, astrology or whatever it is. Uh, are you Cancer? Are you Gemini? No. You're looking for answers. You've got questions. You've got issues in your life. And you're looking for answers. Why not go to the one who made you? You don't take a bicycle to a makeup salon for them to fix your bicycle. They're not the ones that made your bike. You take your bike back to the manufacturer. Do you not? You have a radio. It's not working well. You have satellite radio and you can't seem to make the connection. Well, don't you take that bad boy to the people who know satellite radio? You don't take it to somebody who is sitting up there making shoes. God made you. God made me. Go to the manufacturer. Go to God. You have issues. You go to God. And another thing, those of you who are in all these relationships, uh, male or female, uh, boy, girl, however old or young you are, and you have family or in-laws that just love to give their opinions on things. What are you going to them for? Go to God. God knows what you should and should not do. Some of those people will give you some of the dumbest advice. You look at their lives. If their life doesn't make sense, then what are you going to them for advice for? Think about that. Get godly counsel. Get prayer. You might have to confess a few things so you can get some real honest answers. Because if you're lying about the situation, you're not going to get the truth anyway. Because how can you base the truth off of a lie? Okay, that's just my little snippet. Just a little food for thought. Watch who you consult about your life. 